Hmm. I got an email notification. I wonder what this is. Hmm. Taco Bell. Spicy as it gonna be. You know what? I can make better Reaper fries than this. I'm gonna make better Reaper cheese sauce because I actually have a Reaper. Hmm. I don't know if uh, how many questions I'm gonna have for this one. Um, I have to check. Maybe maybe I got a couple. But if not, I got plenty of stuff to talk about. Um, so uh, the point of this video, because I got recently got an email from Taco Bell. I guess now they have like a menu where they have like Reaper fries, and I guess they're doing a Reaper burrito or something like that. I guess it's a reaper sauce they got. I'm like, it's Taco Bell. So, how spicy is it gonna be for Taco Bell? Then I had another idea. I still have a reaper left from the last video. I mean, really, I should have used both in that chili. I have my regrets. But it's all good. Um,. Today I'm going to make a cheese sauce with the ghost pepper, not the ghost pepper, <laughs> with the uh, reaper, and I'm going to make not just fries, I'm going to make waffle fries. No, not by hand, they are frozen, <laughs> but there will be waffle fries. I figured, oh, we're going to do this, let's do it right, you know. I'm going to add some extra cheese to cheese sauce might add a little extra spiciness depending on what I have to work with but yeah um so uh let's go to the kitchen Okay, um, as you see you got the finished product, 
There's a couple missing. I don't know what happened to them. How dare you? So, um, this <laughs> fat little arm right here. Fucking fried. So, what I can tell, what I tell, when what I can tell when I was stirring up the sauce and everything, I tasted it. It's got some kick to it, but much like the chili, it's got a kick to it, but. It's not super spicy, but I haven't actually got into it into it yet, which I'm about to do now. I mean, either way, I mean, even if it's not crazy spicy, it's still beautiful and it's still very flavorful. So, just get, I'm just gonna dive into it before I start talking. On the plus side, it's probably the best cheese sauce I've ever made. What did you think of the sauce? Um, typically with cheese sauces, they have like that weird um, processed or metallic taste. Mm -hmm. And because typically you start, instead of like making a cheese sauce from scratch, because that shit is time consuming. Yeah. You usually start with some kind of jarred or canned base. Use a jarred base for this one. Yeah. But sometimes it's like really, really salty and it tastes really fake. Like mm -hmm. like that nuclear <laughs> orange cheese you get at like ballparks and oh shit Oh god. Like 7 Eleven. Yeah. But this isn't bad. It's really mellow. Yeah. But it tastes like cheese. Mm -hmm. so. Plus I added more cheese to it. Yeah, it's really good. Plus there was like that little that little tiny bit of habanero cheese I had to put in there. Oh cool. So Mm. I should have brought hair. Should have brought hair. <laughs> so you leave. <laughs> I don't back in that part. Mm -hmm. I remember not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These are really tasty. They have a little bit of a kick. I mean, if you're somebody who is not used to spice, you'd probably be crying right now. Well. Did you just read every white person who's watching your videos? Well, because like I said, there's two types of white people. There's the ones that's like, you know, water's too spicy, and there's the ones that get like pour gasoline over over like a bucket of Reapers. And so they're like, I eat these with my jalapenos. <laughs> you know? You're like, I better edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Damn, the sea sauce is really good though. Mm, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so. I don't really have any questions for this one. Why would you need questions? Because this is your Q&A Well, like, basically all I'm doing is answer questions people send me. Uh, you didn't ask for questions. I did. <laughs> I actually did. I did when I posted the last video. The, um, the Reaper Chili video, actually. Well... Do you have any questions? <laughs> no. Why would I ask you questions? I live with you. Actually, if Susie had one question, they'd ask me, they'd be like, why are you like this? See, that's why I didn't ask you anything, because... Because <laughs> that's what you would have asked me? Yeah. I mean, well, it's a long story. <laughs> she was born, and then no. <laughs> and I never stopped the school. Oh, <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> 
And then they made the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> You leave Bob Hoskins, Dennis Hopper, and John Leguizamo out of this. I'll excuse Bob Hoskins because it's Bob Hoskins. Now excuse Dennis Hopper because, you know, he's done some good stuff. But I will not. I will not let John Leguizamo off the hook. You have to for Super Mario Brothers. Because he made the pest. That's even more reason. No, I disagree. To hold him accountable. No. I mean, I get it. He was like supposed to be like almost like a living cartoon character in that, like a live action cartoon. Like a live yeah. action, yeah. That's him, alright. Wait, what did I say? Did I say a living action? What did I say? A real life cartoon, I think, is what you said. No. Oh. But yeah. Besides, mm -hmm. so you walk right. The scissors like. Like, why don't we get waffle fries? I'm like, you know what? Why not? These are waffle fries for stores. These are not Chick fil A waffle fries, because fuck Chick fil A. We don't fuck with Chick fil A. Nope. Or Wendy's. Yeah, we don't mess with Wendy's anymore either. I mean, some people kind of seem silly of, like, not giving someone a business over policies, but, well, fuck you. Um, no, but... What do you mean, n fuck you, LOL, no, 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 fuck you. No. <laughs> There's no chuckle. Yeah. And, just kidding, no, fuck you. You are perfectly allowed to not care about policy and just care about the product they put out. That's your right. Mm -hmm. You can do that. But also, fuck you. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, you got one. Do you know what the crunchy ones? Take some. <laughs> Thank you. Sharing with the doctor here. Who's not going to be on camera, obviously. Because, you know, they don't feel like being on camera. I really don't. I'm waiting for some shithead that comments on your videos. I mean, that's because you waste that. Like, okay. I'm stupid. You still appear on camera. No. <laughs> the reason why the doctor's not on camera is you're a bitch ass bitch who's <laughs> talking shit. Because I'm a bitch ass bitch that's talking shit. No, oh, no, they true. are. That's true. I am a bitch ass bitch that's talking shit. That's a fact. That's just, <laughs> that's just reality. I mean, even though you're not in a video, I do miss doing videos with you. Even like this, even like this, you just a disembodied voice, mm. and the secret arm that swings over to grab a prize. Well, I'll be honest. Oh wait, the big part of why? Oh wait. Okay, because because I've been eating them, but without oh, the afterburn. Yeah, they're oh okay. Oh, I see. It's like you eat them. You eat them for a while. You get you get into it. But then you stop eating for a minute, and that's when, yeah, that after. I don't feel that at all, but of course I ha probably haven't had nearly as much as you have. Yeah, I've been shoveling it in my mouth. I mean, I'm not doing like the, like, like, you know, act like I haven't eaten food before, but. Oh my god. Like that fucker Steven Sushi <laughs> slamming yourself into walls and shit. <laughs> Putting your head through windows. It's like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Put your face into a mirror, like, just. I do. Or Nick, I love Nick Picado so much. Yeah. But I really need him to stop acting like he's never eaten food before. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with Stephen Sushi. It's like, calm down, y'all. They're both cool, but still. <laughs> also, one thing, I like when I'm doing these, I can't do that they do. I don't think I can go full balls on, you know, like. Drippy sauce all over my face and everywhere and everything. Oh, you also have a beard. That would. Ooh. Yeah. Wait. You're... By the way, is everything in it? No. You're... I was like, oh wait, the beard. Oh fuck. That would make <laughs> you smell terrible with things just getting stuck in your beard. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah, that. Did... 
<laughs> I was I was like you, you like you see like the, the 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 old redneck dudes with the big beards eating chili, and they're just like they wear it half a chili on the beard. I like my chili. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about a thing that I've never seen happen. So the only person I've seen with a beard that likes chili is you. <laughs> so. You're like, me, I'm big redneck guys with beards that like chili. <laughs> I like chili. You do like chili. I do like chili. Uh -uh. But no, um... Fuck me. At least I have a friend back in LA. Like, he was in the habit. He always ate things with a knife and fork, including hamburgers, fried chicken, stuff like that. You told me about him, but I don't remember who his, what his name is. I forgot his name. It's a friend, but you forgot his name? Well, I had somebody I haven't spoke to in about, like, 15 years. I haven't seen him in that long. Mm -hmm. He was, like, a co-worker, but he was cool. The buddies to hang out with. And he would always, like, eat stuff, like, with a knife before, because in his younger days, like, in the 80s and stuff like that, he, for the longest time, he had, like, a long beard. And so he would eat with a knife before, so that way he wouldn't get stuff into the beard. I mean, yeah. I mean, it probably doesn't make a difference if, once again, you're eating chili or eating something like this. Or, here's an idea. Just get the fucking spoon in your goddamn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Just put the spoon into your mouth and not sling it into your face. Like a goddamn... Like a slingshot. I'm gonna just throw it in my face and hopefully my mouth catches it. Good luck. Ah. Seriously, that's not something I'll eat. <laughs> Yes, dudes are gross. Yeah. Including me. Mm -hmm. I'm gross dudes. <laughs> dudes are gross. It's me. I'm dudes. <laughs> it's me. I'm dudes. <laughs> I might look for fries them a slight little too long. I, I disagree. I think you left them in <laughs> exactly how long they needed to be. Because nobody likes a mushy fry. If no, you put no. that much cheese sauce on, they need to be crisp to hold up. That's true. Yeah. Like, it, it, even the crunch withstands the cheese sauce. <laughs> Onslaught. Great. So last night, this is probably the last thing I talk about because the fries are almost gone. So, <laughs> which by the way, do you want some of these fries gone? Um, Here. Gonna... Take a fork because now, now it's in the messy tip. <laughs> Stabity do wild waffle fries. Well, um, last night, now, this has happened to me before. Oh, mm. mmm. Ooh, now I taste the heat, because I got a lot more cheese sauce before. Yeah, sir. It's bomb. This is a little bit of cheese sauce, too. Oh, cool. I'm pouring it in that jar, I'm saving it, and I can make use it again. Make mattress with that shit. Oh, we might have tacos later, I might pour that on my tacos. Oh, no. Oh, no, because you're going to have the salad. We're going to have, like, the salads. Just, we no. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Um, sometimes, like, I'll know people. I'll talk to people on Facebook for a long time. And if I just randomly see them in public, offhand, I'm not going to know it's you sometimes. Because it doesn't cl click, connect sometimes. So sometimes it's like, if you know me for when we when we talk on Facebook or whatever, and you've run into me somewhere, it might be better if I don't really say anything to you. Come up to me because it's not that I'm being a dick. It's just like I'm not even thinking about it for some reason because I got like I'm like focusing on the room or whatever, you know. It's not being rude or anything. Wait, who the fuck came up to you from Facebook? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, sometimes when I'm at a show... 
Oh, when you're at sh okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying when I'm at shows. Yeah. I thought you were about like when you were at work, someone like peeked around and goes, "Hey, buddy." Like, wait. First of all, how the fuck did you? No, I, at that work? did happen to me once at work. Dude. Well, they didn't do. They didn't do that. They didn't peep around at one time. But th didn't they bring you coffee? Like, that you talked to them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a couple people. Yeah, they was like they brought me coffee. Uh, another person came by just to give me a hug. Oh. That's... See, I think that's nice for you because you like that kind of attention. Like, and, and it's nice, too, because I was, like, having a really... I would karate chop someone in the fucking throat, though, if they came to my job yeah. and just surprised me with a hug. I do not like Well, it. she didn't surprise me with the hug. I mean, I saw her first, and then she hugged me. Well, she didn't, like, seek up behind me and go, hi -ya! Uh, <laughs> She didn't get me in a bear hug go, I got you. See, that, that would get you a straight, like, neck punch from me just because I, not because I don't like you, just because you scare me when you just touch me without my consent. Don't do that. I will accidentally hurt you. It's but, not my fault. But no, no. I saw she gave me a hug. I was having a really bad day that day, and it, it was nice. It helped me. Because this was before I started working in the back, when I was working on the floor, mm -hmm. and I was closing that night. You were like, fuck, I gotta go home to that motherfucker. Hey, what? Me. I'm that motherfucker. No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um. Shit, what was this Oh, yeah. People hugging you at work. But, yeah. <clears throat> I mean. Sometimes I ran to people and then I didn't realize it was them. So, like, oh, wait. You know, I'll be I'd like, I'd like you'd be at a show or an event or something like that. Well, I, ha I haven't even heard of any of this, so I'm like, well, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, there, there's this one, uh, there, there's this one, uh, friend who I talk to on Facebook, I see on, occasionally on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And, I, and apparently, like, I didn't realize, I mean, I saw them, they waved to me, I waved back, and I thought, okay, just, you know, being nice, hi, what's happening? <laughs> you know? And then later on, I, I, I like, I saw, I, I, I didn't realize it was them at first, but then I saw this, saw the person I'm talking about on Facebook. I said, "How's everybody gonna go to the same show?" And I'm like, "Oh, oh, I guess I missed you. You know, it was there, but I didn't really see you." And now I looked, uh, looked for a, a little further in the profile. They posted pictures of themselves right before they went, and I'm like, "Oh, are you fucking serious?" And I like, I felt bad. Cause now I realize like they waved at me a few few times. I'm like, hi. And then it just dawned on me, oh, that's why you were waving. Fuck me. <laughs> I felt like a dick. See, that's something I never have to worry about. I none of the people I know on Facebook are anywhere near me. <laughs> and also I never leave the house, so I'm literally in no danger of running into anybody ever. <laughs> like you're the only person I have on my Facebook that I can regularly run into. <laughs> Because we live together. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? I was standing next to them twice. Wow. And I am... Wow, we... I'm pretty dense sometimes. I, 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 felt, I, felt, I felt something in there going sometimes. I felt that. <laughs> yeah. If I ever did this to anybody, I apologize. I don't mean it. I said, it's just just be like, you know, just poke me or something and say, hey, what's up, you know? I get further on. I feel like I got a little chunk of Reaper. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, it doesn't make me scream, obviously. It's just like, <clears throat> you know, a little tickle on the throat. Which is weird. Look, remember when I used the Reaper in that chili I made? And, and it kind of, um, 
kind of like left a little numbness. Yeah. That's it. But did, 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 did this, did the cheese sauce seem like it did that? No, not for me, you know. It didn't do that for me either. It's like, huh, no numbness. But yeah, it's got a spiciness. It creeps up. It's there. But it's not like... Well, of course, I didn't eat the Reaper straight off like you see some not very smart people do on YouTube videos or Vines or whatever. And then I was talking about this in the last video. I don't know if you remember or not. There's a video floating around of the dude who has like the dry Reaper and he puts in this bomb. And smokes yes, it. dear God. So yeah, it's not like I did that. I mix it with some cheese, and it's spicy, but really, really, really good. On one hand, I wanted to get the full effect of the Carolina Reaper like other people get, and whatever. But, but I don't want to die for it. <laughs> on the other hand, you know, I really would. It, it would if it was like that. I probably would have messed up the flavor a little bit. Um, you wouldn't be able to taste anything. So yeah, I, I'd imagine so. Yeah, I mean, this isn't a hot ones challenge, you know. Though I do want to try that that the hot that sauce, so, that mm -hmm. last dab. Mm -hmm. Someone was saying, like, I was on a thread one time, people, people were talking about spicy stuff, and they were saying the last dab wasn't even that bad. Okay, but how many of them were were straight men saying that it wasn't even that Actually, bad? Actually, this was a woman. Oh, well, then she's probably telling the truth. Because <laughs> I've just, I'm sorry, but that's something I've noticed. Every dude that I've known that has claimed to love spicy food, you give him something like Korean fire noodles or... Uh, the last step hot sauce or you know like something with Carolina Reapers in it and he's sitting there pouring sweat it's the dudes that sit there like you can't make food hot enough for me and then they're sitting there crying and chugging gallons of milk I'm like see you just a white little bitch now didn't you say like a long time ago your stepdad had something called smack my ass and call me Becky or something it's, it's a hot sauce called slap my ass and call me Sally oh. Oh, Sally. You know that. Don't fucking change the name to fit your stupid narrative. No, I I could forgot. Yeah, you had to sign a waiver for it. Because like you had you had to sign like a a waiver that said like, you know, if your asshole falls out or if your stomach lining just Was well, that is that the exact words that was in it? Yes. In the contract. If your asshole falls out, we are not liable. Yeah, exactly. For lost rectums. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Except I had the misfortune of washing the dishes that this hot oh, sauce was in. And I had like a chemical burn like all over my body. Mm. from Because I, it was burning my hands so I went to wash my hands. And, and then later I took a shower and it just, I couldn't get the shit off of me. So oh, I had God. chemical burns literally all over my body. Oh. Danny thought it was hilarious. He's like, I would, and later, he's like, I would not have laughed at that if I knew it was that bad. I'm like, you did know, and you did laugh. Shut up. <laughs> Don't lie to protect yourself now. You already looked like an asshole back in the day. Just accept that you were acting like a dick. How, how, and how did he handle the hot sauce? Uh, he barely, barely, just barely. Barely. <laughs> Oh, negative nine, I cannot see. I wonder what they're doing that first up was in that vine. I wonder if it's still legally blind and cannot see. Even though I had enough carbs, I kind of wish I had a couple more fries to dip in the leftover sauce. Yeah. Well, you just ate like 60 carbs with the fries. Yeah. So I think you're okay for now. <laughs> so, that's the video, I guess.
you don't really need to go, that was a video. <laughs> they, they watched it. They're aware. <laughs> they might not know they were watching a video. They may have thought they were watching like a GIF. <sighs> a GIF with sound. That was not a gift, sir. Why is it for a split second on the show you're watching? Mm. In the corner of my eye, he looked kind of like Ice Cube, and I turned around and was like, wait, that's a white guy with a beard. What the hell? That's not a white guy, but okay. No, <laughs> no he's not white. Oh, what show is this? Rain? Rain, Rain. Okay. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um... Definitely give this cheese sauce a plus. It was good. It was really, really good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. You know, so what I'm seeing, Carolina Reapers are probably pretty much I I put them on par with Ghost Peppers. If I use more, then yeah, that's it'll probably give you a lot spicier. But when you use like one, it makes it spicy but flavorful. So that's my that's what I determine here with that. And also, I'm not a fan. Like, I love spicy food. And, you know, when we're up in Mobile again, like, we get the transportation issue figured out, we definitely need to go back to Saraga and get mm -hmm. more fire noodles because that's actually, like, a main staple in our house. Like, we don't... Mm -hmm. Like, that's not crazy spicy for us. Uh, that being said, I am not a fan of, like, dare food. You know what I mean? Like, so spicy that it's going to send you to the hospital and you're only eating it for a day. Mm. Basically, you're, it's like, because it's not enjoyable at that point. You're basically wasting food. Because you're making it so hot that it's inedible. And then you're trying to force yourself to eat it, which means you're going to throw it up or shit it out immediately after it enters your body. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to have to go to the hospital because if you throw it up, that's going to, like, just erode your esophagus and destroy the enamel on your teeth. Yeah, I mean, feel free to edit all this out. No, no, I'm, I'm not. But no, I'm just saying, like, I, I, you and I eat a lot of spicy food. And fuck, even dinner tonight's gonna be spicy. But I really cannot fuck with this thing where you make food. Can you not? No one wants to see your fucking cheese-covered tongue. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Sorry. I mean, you should start a mukbang channel if you <laughs> want to get nasty with it. Get nasty. There's like cheese sauce drip on your chest. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I just, <laughs> Throw yourself into walls covered in cheese. <laughs> it's just a pot of cheese. Mm. Oh, it's hot! Ah! What did they think? Why did they think that was a good idea? Dip KFC in a jar of Alfredo sauce or something like that. No! What? That's a thing. So do I that. know, but no! Well, oh, that one dude, he had like, he like had the pile of like these big ass wings or whatever. Or were they actual chicken legs? No, those were chicken legs. And he had the, the cheese sauce with the chicken and First legs. he was dipping, then he just poured all the cheese sauce on it. It was like a mountain of cheese and wing chicken. Which sounds good in theory. In theory, yeah. <laughs> well, the chicken, anyway. The chick, because the chicken legs look bomb as fuck. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I'd want cheese. See, he probably would have loved to dip his, his chicken in this. Wait, that didn't sound right. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dip your chicken in this. Shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, I, I, was, I, was, I was serious. Like, dipping yourself in that would be probably 